give everyone the 30 second rundown of who Ross Fox is. Ross Fox is a local carpet cleaner right in Bel Air. Um, I got two kids and I decided I want to give them a life, you know, like I had growing up. Yeah. And, uh, I want things done in my hands, you know? Okay. I want it to be on my shoulders. If it fails, it's because of me. You know what I mean? When it succeeds, it's because of me. You know Live or I mean? die on your exactly. own sword. Exactly. And I think I'm a very smart guy and I got a lot of good work ethic and I'm mm-hmm. a likable guy and I'm a genuine guy. Yeah. And I want people to see that not only with the work that I do, but with how I treat them. You know? Yeah. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is Tim here with the TMA Connection. It's your local podcast that is focusing on people that are making a difference in the lives of others, whether that's through their own personal lives, their businesses, and their organizations within the community. Today, I got a super special guest uh, from back in the Bel Air High School days of the old building, class of 2006, and is now a business owner, entrepreneur, and is just looking to do great things for people. Uh, we got Mr. Ross Fox in the house today. Ross Fox, let's hit the. Uh, okay, I don't know if you hear that, but there is clapping going on. Make some noise! Make some noise! Ross Fox, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming in, man. It's an honor. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You know, I I am infatuated with people that are on the journey of building something bigger than themselves. Right. And, you know, we're trying to do that uh, in real estate, and you're doing that now with your business uh, with with higher higher standard carpet cleaning. Yes, sir. And now I see you all over Facebook now, and you're just really getting out there. And, and I, I, you, you reached out to me, but it was definitely something where I said, I definitely need to get Ross on the podcast. Yeah, I'm just trying to take a page out of your book. Yeah. I see. I mean, you're everywhere. Well, Mark, when you're ho- everywhere. Hopefully that's not too annoying. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could, that could be a blessing or a... C- Curse, yes, TikTok. <laughs> They're funny. At TMA Real Estate, by the way. All right, so anyway, but not about me. This is about you, brother. So uh, give everyone the 30-second rundown of who Ross Fox is. Ross Fox is a local carpet cleaner right in Bel Air. Um, I got two kids, and I decided I want to give them a life, you know, like I had grown up. Yeah. And uh, I want things done in my hands, you know? Okay. I want it to be on my shoulders. If it fails, it's because of me. You know what I mean? When it succeeds, it's because of me. You know Live I mean? or die on your exactly, own sword. Exactly. And I think I'm a very smart guy, and I got a lot of good work ethic, and I'm mm-hmm. a likable guy, and I'm a genuine guy. And yeah. I want people to see that, not only with the work that I do, but with how I treat them, you know? Yeah. So just a local guy, just works, hangs out with his kids, and that's pretty much it. Awesome. Yeah. So. Born and raised in Harford County, Harford working County. in Harford County Bel-Air now. Bel Air graduate, yes, sir. Bel Air graduate, 2006. Yes, sir. Go Bobcats. Whoop. Bobcat Nation. What? So you graduated 2006. Uh, what were you doing between the time that you graduated? Because um, we, we talked just a little bit off camera about the, the good old high school days. But let's take this just after high school. But that time frame between high school and when you started your business. Yeah, I started selling cars right out of high school. Really? Yeah. I mean, I was a 21, 20 year old kid living at home, making good money. Mm-hmm. And uh, once I started settling down, having kids, it's really not nine to nines every day, five, six days a week, going in on your day off. It's really not yeah. conducive to fatherhood. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So, but I loved it. You know what I mean? I love the grind. I love talking. That's my favorite thing about sales or sales that I'm in now or meeting people is. The actual part of meeting people that's yeah my, that's, that's my favorite thing that's where i worked at bagel works since 2014 i oh, just wow. love building these relationships with people i love talking to people i you love pr- meeting people you probably met a lot of people through bagel works a lot of people that bagel is works. a that is a bel-air hot spot in fact we'll tag bagel works on this uh on this episode listen to me bel bel-air bagel works is one of the most special places you could possibly eat at yeah they hire nothing well not nothing, but they hire a lot of people in recovery that don't have a lot of resources to help people, and they really care about recovery. Danny Gerber and Deb Bilski, they really take care of people when you come work for them, especially when you're in recovery. Never knew that. Yeah, it's a very beautiful thing. That's Actually, awesome. They don't want to broadcast. So, you know, they're, they're the kind sure. of people that want to do it. You know, they want to keep it in-house. You it's, know? But it's all out of the kindness of their heart. Not know what kind of business you're supporting when you go and eat there. Yeah, you know, not look what look thing. what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. It's like they're, they're just genuinely it's living that life. Thing. It's a beautiful awesome. place over there. You have my second family. So back in high school or back in those early years, what's what's one thing that really uh, 
maybe you learn, maybe you didn't realize that you learned, but it has really helped you as a business owner? Um, well, Mr. Reinhardt and Mr. Ingram, they're one of my two favorite teachers from Southampton Middle School. You, wait, 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 take this back. You were you went to Southampton Middle. Yes, sir, yep. So I so I was a before I was actually a licensed teacher, I was at Southampton Middle and I worked on their team. Yes. These two men had such a big impact on my life because I struggled in school. Uh huh. Um, elementary school, I mean straight A student, but then when I got to middle school, I got to be a little bit more known and popular and I kinda went down the path with the yeah with the kids that i was around you know but yeah and uh mr ingram mr reinhardt they could see that that wasn't me you know and they yeah. pulled me aside and so you gotta change up buddy yeah you can't, you can't roll with the crew that you're on with you gotta be around the winners you know? wow yeah that's a good lesson to have these surround two, yourself with winners yeah, that's what these these two guys pulled me aside and they said look ross we like you and the people that you're hanging out with that ain't you buddy wow yeah and that really stuck with you yeah, yeah. wow i'll never forget those two gentlemen best two teachers i could ever have yeah yeah, no offense, Miss Taylor. Uh, hey, we're just name dropping <laughs> Bel Air teachers, and and that's fine because there there's a lot of phenomenal ones. Yeah, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of great teachers out a lot there. Of so amazing memories at that school for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I didn't realize that you went to Southampton. Yeah, yeah, I was there from ninety nine to about two thousand one. I was like one out of ten kids from Southampton that went to other miscellaneous schools. Yeah, so I moved up here from Perry Hall. Okay, had to start over in eighth grade in middle school. Yeah, right, and then I had to start over. In high school, meet new friends because, like I said, probably 10 kids out of the eighth grade went to miscellaneous schools out through Harvard County. Right. And then now they're 95% or 90% went to see Milton Wright. <laughs> 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 but that kind of helps me now because you know, the more the merrier, you know? The yeah. more people you know, the more help. So in 2014, you start a carpet cleaning business. 2019. 2019. 2014 is when I started Bagel Works. When the Bagel yeah, Works. Yeah. Okay. So Bagel Works 2014, 2019. What gave you the idea to start a carpet cleaning business? Uh, I'll tell you, it was March 19, two, uh, 2020. I was working at Libertories, and the, me and the owner, Italo, who's a great man, by the way, like a second father to me, we were watching the news, and Governor Larry Hogan said at 5 o'clock, everything's going to be shut down. And he turns to me, he says, go home and collect unemployment. Now I have two kids, you know what I mean? So that wasn't really an option because wow. I knew in my head that millions of people were going to be calling the unemployment office and it was just going to be, it was going to be a, a nightmare for, for months to come. And that's exactly what happened. So I reached out to my friend, Jeff Gardner, who owns Eco Dry, And I said, hey, man, you got anything? Mm. You got anything for me? You know, a couple of days a week. You know, I just can't stop working. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so then, that was actually 2020, not 2019. Yeah. Tw yep. 20, yep. 2020. 2020. Yep. Okay. Okay. And uh, he gave me and gave me an opportunity. And I fell in love with it. Okay, I fell in love with it, and uh, I started working at um, Hickory Station delivering pizzas just to just to keep the income rolling. Yeah. And then after you know five or six months working for Jeff, I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out on my own. You're gonna start. But I didn't do the same the same cleaning as he did. It's it's two different methods. You know what I mean? Okay. And I didn't you know I, just, I didn't want to make him upset. He was a good friend of me. You know, he's sure. a great guy. Love him to death. Um, so I didn't want him to be upset with me. So I got in a little bit of a, a different cleaning method than, than what he does. Yeah. And we still bounce customers off each other. If I can't get to somebody, I'll refer them to him and vice versa. So it's cool. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm looking at getting my carpet carpets cleaned. Mm -hmm. What, what holds higher standard carpet cleaning, um, set apart from everybody else? Like what, what's the, what's the value proposition? What's the difference maker with working with Rawls Fox? Me, you know, I'm a, I'm a local guy that mm -hmm. wants to do good work. So. I'm not just going to come in, do a couple sprays, and do a couple strokes with my carpet wand. I'm going to assess every stain. You know what I mean? I'm going to. You, you got to qualify these customers to see what's going on. Because you just can't go in blind and put down food and beverage treatment on a pet stain. Okay. You know what I mean? So you really okay. got to. I have a little uh, LED light that you turn out the lights and it shows all urine stains and. Pet oh stains wow. Or yeah, so it's cool. It's you know like CSI mean? or something. <laughs> <laughs> come, come across that crime exactly. scene and be like, I'm, I'm out of here, brother. I am out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. what happened here? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a thorough guy. You know a thorough I mean? guy. And, and that's what I want to do. I don't want to just build a business. I want to build relationships with people. And that's the most important thing to me. You can ask, you know, even till this day, you know, I got a, the serving serving business and my friend Adam, who, or not owns, he's the uh, – assistant GM at Maryland Golf and Country Club. I was like, mm -hmm. you got something for me a couple nights a week just to, just cause I love, I love serving tables. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, that's, you know, I mean, it, when you, when you keep a service mindset, 
in an industry like we're in, you know, with the service industry yeah. of whether it's carpet cleaning or buying and selling homes, keeping the people first is so paramount to success because how you treat others and how, and the quality of work that you do is going to get around. Yeah, that's why I say it's that. a small community and everybody knows everybody. And if somebody's referring the name Ross Fox to do a job, they got to stand on it. You got yeah, you got to represent that at the at the highest at the at the highest standard. Exactly. Pa- pa- pardon the pun of your uh, business name. And that's that's my motto: morals over money. Yeah, you know? morals over money. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to clip that one right there. I like that. Write that down. Huh? Yeah, write that down. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, so customer, customers will tell me. You know what I mean? They didn't come back. You know, customers will people will tell you what they want. Mm-hmm. If you just listen to them. They'll tell you what they want. Yeah. You know, they didn't like this person because of this, this, and that. All right, so I'm not going to do this, this, and that. I'm going to do this, this, and this. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? People will tell you what they want. Yeah. Harford, Harford Countys are super easy to please as long as you make them feel like they're the only customer that you're dealing with. And that's yeah. what I try to do. That That's the goal when yeah. we're working with multiple clients, too, is like I want them to feel like they're the only ones. Yeah, my phone is, a t- I mean, it is stapled to my hands. Yeah. So if I don't answer it, I'm either not living, <laughs> you know. Uh, or, or you're in an appointment yeah. with and focus yeah. with or, somebody yeah. completely, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely, yeah. I'm always, and that's the biggest thing. When, I, when somebody calls me, I don't wait two days to call them back. Yeah. It's going to be instant response, instant quote. And I come to find out, you know, going to do estimates, that kind of just prolongs the process. If you give an idea to a customer of what a price is over the phone, mm-hmm. you know, they're going to shop around, and that's fine. You know yeah. I mean, you want them to shop around, please. But just make it quick, easy, and simple form while you have them on the phone. Yeah. That's what I come to find out. Now, w- once, you, once you get a client and you've done a really good job, and they might refer you to business, but they also might be repeat uh, business as well. Absolutely. Do you, and this is more of a business question right now, and I'm trying to relate it to my own career here. Uh, do you have any systems in place where you're you're following up or staying connected with people after you have worked with them? Yeah. So carpet cleaning, you really can't do a next day follow up. Uh-huh. Um, so I'll mark on. So I just do everything through Google calendars. Okay. And I just write a little note, follow up in two weeks, because sometimes stains do wick back. You know what I mean? And I don't okay. want to call the next day when it's still my chemicals are still doing their job and their solution. You got to wait a couple of weeks. Okay. And that's when I do, you know, a return call, make sure everything is good. You know, yeah. mention a referral program to them. Um, just try, I just, they can't forget me. That's that, you know, I hear that a lot with mm-hmm. this person came out and did such a wonderful job, but I just cannot remember who they are. I can't have that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I do a good job, I want to continue to do a good job for years and years to come. Yeah. My goal as a real estate agent is if somebody's talking about real estate, I'm in that top two of the people that that they're they're mentioning my name. Right. You know that br- it's it's brand it's right. brand recognition, I want, right? I want higher standard sizzled in the people's brains. Yeah. You know, car- when it comes to carpet cleaning, or even calling me just uh, for a good recommendation. You know, a good you know I want I want I, I deal with guys that I that I trust and that know do a good job like Joey with Tar Heel Construction and Sean Hampton Elite Power Washing. I mean these guys. Are great guys, and it's just great to know somebody that has the connections. You know, they might not be the cheapest, but right. they're going to do the best work. I can yeah. promise you that. Yeah, they're not going to hit you over the head. Yeah. So that's another thing. That's why I tell people, you know, even if you don't get your carpet cleaning from me, call me if you need something. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Call you're me you you're a connector. Right. You're call a me connector. If you need a recommendation. You know, the more people I meet, you know, the more amazing people I meet, the better the connection is. It's awesome. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing, man. Some of these small business owners around here that, well, now big business owners, man, mm-hmm. such some of the best people you could ever meet. Yeah. I mean, just some of the best people, man. And, and, and some of the, you, you would think the more successful you get, people would close up, no. but it, but that's not the case. The more you successful know, they get, the more they call me and more they want to take care of me. And the more, more, the, the more they're like, giving out resources, like, you know, not, not afraid do. of uh, the, the lack of, you know, or... It, having an abundance mindset versus having a very closed in, you know, I don't want to help that person because that could interfere with my success. It's like there's plenty of opportunity out there. And if you can just learn to help, to focus on helping others first, it's all going to come back to you. Yeah. And I'm in recovery, you know, um, I got some sober time from drinking and that's the biggest thing, you know, AA has taught me and, and working with people in recovery, pay wow. it forward. Yeah. Pay it forward. You know, there was times I didn't have a ride, didn't have a car. And these guys would come pick me up, take me to a meeting or take me to work, you know, when I was younger. So, um, okay. So let's get real here. Okay. You're a business owner. I'm a business owner. It's not all, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. What's 
what's your biggest struggle that you currently face as a business owner entrepreneur finding good help okay seems to be the happening with a lot of with a lot of people trying to get their business off the ground is excuse me <clears throat> finding good reliable help especially with all the the bonus money people get these days it's a it's tough finding for government yeah, bonus money yeah yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a little tough so how many people do you currently have employed just me it's so just now, you yeah i mean i tried to get another truck on the road and i tried to help out um, or you know try to get a helper and it just just hasn't worked out yet okay you know what i mean but, but, but I, you're, I have but a you're real not... big problem with trust you know what i mean like okay. This is still, you know, I'm only three years in. Sure. So I just can't have any mistakes. Not to say that somebody, I, it's, it's just me. That's something I need to work on. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's yeah. Pretty much. So, Everything so, else has been amazing. So you, so you would, so say somebody's listening to this podcast right now and they're, they're, they're they need a job, you know, and and they're hardworking. Call me. Call, call Ross. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The, the work is there, yeah. folks. The work is there. And if the real estate industry ever tanks, I might be calling you too. Call me, please. <laughs> <laughs> my marketing guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, I asked you if it would be cool, and I'm going to put you on the spot now because we didn't even uh, confirm this. Uh, somebody's listening. They want. They need their carpets clean. Is there any kind of a discount that you can provide today if they were to hear this on the TMA podcast? If you're listening to the TMA podcast, you will get $50 off. Your next cleaning, one hundred and fifty dollars or more. Whoa! Code TMA number one. I like that. <laughs> I understand our carpet cleaning at gmail dot com. Please. Hey, there you go. There you go. So you know, I encourage people to really reach out to you because I think uh, a lot of people want to get behind people that. Uh, are, are really trying to make a difference and trying to do good by people. And you've certainly had, have had uh, uh, some struggles in the past Absolutely. with, with addiction and, and, uh, and getting sober. And now, um, I mean, you're, you're doing great things out there and you're growing a business and, and, that, and that, and that's, you know, watching people like you and the, the, the Joey Ehlers and the, and the Sean Hamptons and the, and the owners of anchor, uh, Kim and Mark Huntley. I mean, these people, they want me to succeed sometimes more than I do. I feel like, you know <laughs> what I mean? It's just a beautiful thing. And that's where I want to get, I want to be, I try to help people as much as I can right now with the resources that I have, but I want those resources Yeah, and I want to help people. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, there's nothing better. I mean, these guys. I mean, they. It makes me feel good. Yeah, you know, with the way they 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 take me under their arm and take me under their wing. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's an amazing thing. Yeah. Well, you definitely bring an energy. Um, <laughs> walk through the door, haven't seen you since a long time ago, and and try to shake your hand. He just comes out and gives me a big bear hug. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, we hug around here. Yeah, yeah. That's right. We hug around here. We are huggers. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> that's awesome um all right so let's let's hit you with some rapid fire sure. closing questions and then we'll get out of here so that you can get on and and get uh, back to get, extracting some carpet extra <laughs> identifying <laughs> mysterious fluids <laughs> all right we talked we talked a lot about uh teachers um and we talked about uh bob reinhardt tim ingram even dropped susan taylor's name is there another teacher that you would like to acknowledge for making a huge difference in your life? I will. And we were talking about him, you know, reminiscing about before we started this podcast is uh, Chris Harney. He was my basketball coach uh, in high school, and he was just the straightest shooter you could ever possibly meet. Yeah. He made me better on the court, and he also made me better in the classroom. They really respected him as a, Super as a smart coach. Guy. He, yeah. He, he, teaches, he is a history buff. Yeah, I mean, he knows every Roman. I mean, he knows everything. He is sharp as a tech. And, and where where does he? He's he's a college coach now. Uh, but for the last time I heard, I, I you know he was at you know Mount St. Mary's. Yeah, or yeah. maybe St. Mary's. I get those two mixed up, so I apologize, coach, if that's <laughs> cool. We'll we'll tag him and uh, get the uh, get the accurate yeah. info there. Yeah, pop your head back up, Mister Harney. I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Yeah, yeah. every once in a while I see a post from him. It's yeah, like, best hey. best defender. You'll never score on the guy. Oh, yeah, you'll never score on the guy. Wow. He did have those long, linky long, arms yeah. and big, big hands. And he was one of the most intense guys. I mean, you saw him on the, on the, you know, quite intense, <laughs> quite <laughs> intense. Uh, not, not so much for this PG rated podcast, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, 
hey, you're either going into the big basketball game uh, or you're uh, or or you're going to try to land a really a good client. Uh, what what if you have headphones in? What's the one pump up song that's just going to get you get you going? Uh, it's Many Men by Fifty Cent. Okay, that's a song. That's my opening workout song that I listen to every you know every workout sesh. Yeah, um, I try not to keep my headphones in while I'm while I'm cleaning carpet. Just you know, I don't want a customer calling me and I'm ignoring them. Right. You know, if I uh, if it's an empty house or something like that, or an empty or a commercial a commercial job and nobody's there, I'll put some headphones in. Okay. But, yeah. Many men. Fifty cent. Fifty cent. Yep. Is it, would that be a good theme song for a PG podcast like this? No. Okay. <laughs> just one. Just one. I just remember when we were in the, when I was in high school playing basketball. Me and the guys, we just sit in this. Uh, we call it the players' lounge in the complete dark, and we would just listen to that whole album. Yeah. Like, before the games begin and the end, it was just it was awesome. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Are you a reader, or do you listen to podcasts or anything like that? I'm a big avid reader. I'm a learner. I mean, I just love to learn. I love to absorb as much knowledge as I can. Do you have any podcasts or book recommendations? Well, I, list, I, I was listening to two podcasts. One was Serial um, about the uh, Adnan Seed case. Okay. Yeah, I, I watched that, but I listen to a lot of comedy. So I'm really serious th- throughout the day. You yeah. Know what I mean, so when I get home or when I'm in the car driving home, I like to pop on Theo Vaughn's podcast. He's just one of the funniest guys out there. Oh. And he just he just makes me laugh. And that's that's all I wanted. You know, I, I try to be as serious as I can, but I try to cut loose with a little, sure. with a little comedy sometimes. And he's just he's just hilarious. Theo Vaughn. <clears throat> I'll yeah, have to. My, my friend James Smolinski, he set me up uh, with some books yesterday. When I went to his office to meet with him, he was telling me about uh, some good books to read. He was talking about, uh, it's called Rocket Fuel. Um, I didn't write down who the author was, but he said that's great for up-and-coming business owners. Okay. And, you know, Interesting. Yeah, it's really I'll good. have to check that out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're you're going to take the family out for dinner tonight. Where's the go-to restaurant in Harford County? Sizzling Bombay. Sizzling Bombay. That is, I, I just got put onto that restaurant probably about a year ago. Yeah. I've never heard of it. Never. Where is that? That is right next to the Burger King on Plumtree, right there in that shopping center. Where the oh, Burger King is. yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, Bel Air South Parkway. Yeah. Right across from the festival. Uh huh. Um, it's Route 24. Ale House yeah, is over there. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You walk out of Burger King, you make a left. And okay. You're walking. Tr- you're walking to the front door. Gotcha. Some. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's a bunch of carry out or what, but you go in there and, you know, it's like three or four people. But then, like, you eat the food, and then you talk to everybody about it. Like, I made a Facebook post about it, and yeah. everybody was like, "Best restaurant ever." Wow. Yeah. yeah. Some of the freshest. What, food. Is that Indian food? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, they, and they give you a number between like one and ten for how high you want the spicy and stuff like that. So just be careful on that. Don't. Right. Stay what, what, seven what's or your, lower. What's seven your number? Lower. What, what, yeah. Seven or lower. Seven or lower. Okay. I'm like a one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a one. All right. Um, where do you see yourself in ten years? We're going to play this back in ten years, and you're going to listen to yourself. Where are you going to be? So I plan on working as hard as I can every day for the next 10 years. So by the time my kids are grown, because I, I, I've missed a lot of things with work, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, that I'm not too happy about. But you talk to any business owner, and that's just sometimes what it is. You yep. know what I mean? People are like, you make your own hours. No, the hours make you when you have your own business. There's no, you know what I mean? So, you know, I missed out on a, on a couple things that, I'm not too happy about that. Mm-hmm. I think about a lot. So when I get older, my main goal is to hang out with my kids as much as I possibly freaking can. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know. Because now my parents, they're in South Carolina. You know what I mean? My sister's in North Carolina. My brother's in Ocean Pines. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I really miss my family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and you know what? I mean, and of course, those first few years of business is really a lot on your shoulders. But as you continue to grow is to try to work in that that leverage, you know, to create some people that are around you that can take some of the, the... the tasks that take a lot of time that you can let go of with control and and try to, but again that's going to take time because you got to look at is it an investment versus an expense you know and if you can create it as an investment and can actually afford to do that then by all means work towards that so that you can create a business that that uh, that that supports your life versus building a life around supporting your business. Right. 
you know yeah i just want the same life that i had my parents gave me to my kids you know what i mean yeah they're so sweet and they're so special and they're just so beautiful and they're and they're growing and they're starting to play sports now and Uh and they're yapping their gums all the time and i just i don't want to miss anymore yeah miss any more time yeah yeah i you know as busy as i am i i don't miss much with my kids you know and it's almost penciling in family as as an appointment yeah, I never thought I'd have to put my kid's soccer game on my Google calendar. On your Google <laughs> calendar. But, you, but, but, if you, but if you don't, if you don't block that time out, and, and, and don't tell people that, hey, I'm with my family. People, there's some people that don't even respect that you have something with your family. But if you say that you have an appointment, you know, then, then they're more willing to work with you. So, you know, to, to, that, to other people, it's an appointment. But to me, it's family. It's all about family. And that's why we're doing everything that we're doing. Yeah, they're, they're at that, that very pivotal age right now that they're starting to understand you know, I'm starting to understand and seeing things, yeah, asking questions. So I got to make sure I'm on my P's and Q's. You know, that's awesome. And you know, your your work ethic, uh, what you're teaching them without saying anything, is certainly something that they're going to pick up on too. Yeah, and I hope that's true because that's what my father did to me. My father never called out. Yeah, he never. I mean, he was a robot. Yeah, he got up the same time every morning, and he got home at the same time every night, give or take maybe five minutes. You yeah, know? and he just never called out. Every morning when I went to school, he was right on that, you know, right there getting dressed with me. Right. Yeah. And you got a gr- great work ethic just like him, yeah. so you probably picked up something too. Yeah, he's just one of the best men you'll ever meet. Yeah. Again, I want to acknowledge you, man. You're getting out there. You're hustling. You're really keeping people first. You're growing your business. You're you're, you're, you're putting yourself out there on social media. Um, you're doing great work. You take pride in your work. It's quality work. We'll be reaching out to you for future clients that might not necessarily need new carpet, but they're going to need to get the carpets cleaned. We're going to go to higher standard carpet cleaning with Ross Fox. Where can people connect with you on social media? Well, they can go to my Facebook page, Higher Standard Carpet Cleaning, Instagram at Higher Standard Carpet Cleaning, email Higher Standard Carpet Cleaning at gmail.com. Um, you can also reach me on my cell, 443-980-4211, and my website, www.higherstandardcc.com. That's awesome. Guys, reach out. Help Ross out. He's doing great things. Yeah, call me if you need anything. It doesn't even have to be about carpet cleaning. If you need a good recommendation for a power washer or a roof guy or a deck guy, whoever, whatever it may be, give me a call. But yeah. My number is all over my Facebook. You know, Please, don't hesitate to call and ask for help. It's awesome. You can also follow us at the Markland Advantage on Facebook and Instagram. We're on TikTok as well at TMA Real Estate. Yeah, it is, and you want to see these videos? Trust and, me. And <laughs> <laughs> are you on TikTok? I watch. You watch. Yeah, I'm trying to find. You got to start posting find, content. I'm, I, I like I said, I work at Maryland Golf and Country Club a couple of nights a week, and there's a you know a few 16, 17 year olds that are a little better with the TikTok technology than I am. So I'm trying to take notes and, and trying to get that going. I am. I am far <laughs> from the highest skilled at TikTok. But I still put it out it's there. Funny. It's fun. It is fun. It is fun. Yeah. It shows the lighter side. So yeah. anyway, uh, yeah, follow us there. And uh, please share this out. Like it, comment, share, um, and uh, and promote the good word. Um, we are also on YouTube, and we're trying. We're setting a goal uh, this year. We were down at like 78 to 80 subscribers last year. We've gotten up to 255, and we're trying to get to 500 by the end. So one subscribe on youtube goes a long way and so subscribe there as well like and share is free guys there it is and until next time ross you the man thank you mr mark i, I, I appreciate I, it I, I'll, I'll, look at it mr marklin you, you can call me tim now all right until next time folks live your life to the fullest and we'll see you soon take care